Radio Times. I'm Marty Moscow Wayne. Jake Shimabakura, our guest today on Radio Times, and he has brought his ukulele. Another song that you're known for is Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody. Ah, uh, sure. <laughs> it sounds like this. My guest today on Radio Times is Madeline Albright, Buzz Bissinger. Good morning, Jane Fonda. Good morning, Marty. It's a pleasure. Tony Morrison joins us this morning on Radio Times. Martin Sheen and Emilio Estevez, Salman Rushdie. Is it tiresome to be known as the writer who had a death sentence on his head? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get Mark uh, from the Arizona border to join us on Radio Times. Mark, go ahead. You're on the air. I work with illegal immigrants every day as a border patrol agent, and we do talk to them. He is completely correct about the top-to-bottom corruption in the South Side. It's it's rampant. I mean, if you find like an honest Mexican government official, policeman, or whatever, you're lucky. They're few wow. and far between. Christopher Hitchens, nice to have you with us on Radio Times. You call yourself an anti-theist, and I'll be honest mm-hmm. with you, that's not a word I'm particularly familiar with. Well, you could be an atheist and wish it was true that there was a divine, benign presence permanently supervising your life. You could, you could say, I can't believe it, there's no evidence for it, but it would be nice if it was true. I think it would be horrible if it was true. It would mean that you lived under a permanent, unalterable dictatorship. There would be large swaths of, of the world that would likely be overrun by the undead. And I don't think I've ever heard Henry Kissinger and the word zombie in the same sentence together. It works better than you think. <laughs> Let me reintroduce you, Dan Dresner. Yeah, there we go. It's sleazy, darkly funny, and wildly entertaining. Teller is our guest today on Radio Times. He lives in Las Vegas now, which is a far cry from the Philadelphia where he grew up. Teller, it's great to have you with us on Radio Times. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's a, I have my early morning voice on. You know. <laughs> they bring to me two lumps of cow dung, and I say, oh, this is cow dung for compost. An organic farmer has brought it. Then I saw the face. It was the representative of Monsanto. And he says, no, it's the bullshit award for making the world starve with organic. And I said, you can call it bullshit. It's still cow dung. It will still make good compost. Thank you so much. And I took it. It can be made a compliment depending on how you receive it. And you are the recipient of the BS award. I am a recipient. Proudly so. Proudly so. And there's a film made by a Swedish filmmaker on this. It's called Bullshit. <laughs> I think you just got me in trouble, but that's okay. We will we will move on. From WHYY in Philadelphia, I'm Terry Gross with Fresh Air. Meryl Streep, welcome to Fresh Air. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much for having me, Terry. I'm a huge fan. Oh, wow. Thank you. You are the only person I have ever dealt with in terms of being interviewed or talking to who brings this out in me. There is something very unique and special in you. Johnny Cash, I want to thank you so much for talking with us. I want to say you're really good at what you do, and I appreciate you. Larry Flint, I thank you very much for talking with us. Okay, look, I want to tell you, you really did a terrific job on those questions about the the genitalia. The guys don't know how to deal with that. Oh, well, good. Well, thank you. Well, Ray Charles, it has been so wonderful to talk with you. Harry, it's been good talking to you, and I and I just want you to know not only am I, is it good to talk to you, but I'm going to keep on listening to you, too. It is an honor to hear you say that. Thank you. <laughs> I really mean it. Thank you. Thank you very much. When you're doing an accent, you got to watch out for the ninth void that you're saying. I was going to the park one day, and I noticed the most beautiful, suddenly, you know, around that, you'll suddenly drop the accent. Excuse me one second, did you just yeah. compare the estate tax with the Holocaust? No, the morality that says it's okay to do something to a group because they're a small uh, percentage of the population is the morality that says that, that the Holocaust is okay because they didn't target everybody. This isn't working, okay? Thanks a lot, I'll see you. <laughs> okay. And if you think that's fair, Terry, then you need to get in another business. And that is the end of this interview. If you think it's fair, Terry, you need to get into another business. We're talking about what could we name ourselves. Now, the obvious thing is, you know, some horrific name. Husky Baby Sandwich or something, you know. <laughs> uh, and, and we're sitting there, and I went, Alice Cooper. I said, what if it was like a little old lady's name? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, you know, that's just flexing in the mirror, vocal flex. You're free to evaluate an artist in any way that you want to. And do you care what people think of your personal life? <laughs> do you care? What um, you know, if I say I don't care, it sounds so cold and callous. How could you go through life 
you know, taking direction from the outside world. It really does feel like a shrink session. <laughs> <laughs> Is that but a good this thing was, or a bad thing? No, it's good. This so you're going to go into therapy now? I Maybe. Maybe I'll just keep coming here every day. <laughs> if you want to welcome me with open arms, I'm afraid you're also going to have to welcome me with open legs. That's a really obnoxious thing to say. No, it's not. So you really have no sense of humor about this, do you? Oh, I'm laughing all the way. You know, oh, to the to? bank, right? Well, of course. <laughs> Don't I sound like a happy guy? Not really, to be honest with you. I was trying to prepare what I would say <laughs> to you. I looked, I enjoyed so much, and I thought, well, me too, or so much. It was my pleasure. <laughs> I had a whole list of them, and now they're all gone. So let's just we'll improv this. Okay, time. let's just try it. Okay. Stephen Colbert, thank you so much for talking with us. Thank you. You know, all best to you. Thank you very hey, much. Hey, Terry, thanks very much. Good try, honey. <laughs>